Hi everyone. So I am trying out a new cosmetic line called Kiss My Sass. This is an indie line and I thought that you guys would appreciate it. They do have, they're all cruelty free, but they do have a vegan list and you could shop exclusively the vegan list. Every cosmetic I'm using in this video from Kiss My Sass is vegan. So rest assured. Um, Anyways, uh, Elizabeth, the owner of Kiss My Sass, asked me if I'd like to try some, so I did pick all the colors, and um, she gave me a budget, and um, I basically picked some eyeshadows, blush, a uh, highlighter, I love her highlighter, and a lip gloss, so I can complete a full face for you using her cosmetics. So she has a full line, and um, I'm not cheating on Glamour Doll Eyes because there's no sponsorship or affiliation or anything like that. I'm allowed to try indie lines. But anyways, this look is based on, um, I believe her name is Shayna. She's from the reality series Vanderpump Rules, which is a spinoff of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Miss Vanderpump's the owner of Sir Restaurant, where Sheena currently, or was working at the time of filming, I don't know where she is right now, because I don't really stalk celebrities online. But anyways, she had an affair with Brandy Glanville's ex-husband who's now Leanne Rhymes current husband and I loved her eyeshadow in the show I have no thoughts on Shayna or Stassi because you know some of it may or may not be staged anyways um and I loved her winged eyeshadow look it wasn't very blended but you could tell it was intentional it's not something I usually try to do because normally I find that an unblended crease doesn't look quite the way I wanted to but I, I was really drawn to her look for some reason and I'm always drawn to her makeup because it's always like really deep chocolate bronze smoky eyes so I want to try it out and thank you for watching get started on the look I've already taken the 100% pure organic coffee bean caffeine eye cream all over the lid and a little under the eye and then the all natural face magic vegan eyeshadow primer to start the look taking kiss my sass uh, cosmetics eyeshadow this color is champagne and it's a really pretty nude color so I'm going to begin by fluffing this all over the eyelid taking the Dawn Tool 785 so I'm going to tap my brush into that color and this is just kind of an all over shimmer shade I'm going to use so I'm going to place it all over the lid and I'm going to blend it up to the brow bone this would be a pretty nude color it's got a lot of shine in it but it kind of matches my skin tone so what you really get is like an iridescent sparkle if you just wanted to wear this like on an easygoing day this would actually be a really pretty color to do I'm gonna take negligee which is a really pretty nude color with a pop of purple in it so we're also gonna put this on with the 785 from Dillium Tools and I'm going to begin blending this into the crease and this color is definitely a lot more matte than champagne so if you want to take this color first for the crease you can if you want a more matte crease it's up to you okay so when I blended it up a little bit I just made it a little bit harder almost kind of like it's not blended out in the outer corner I just want the outer bit to be a little harder because I'm gonna create sort of a outer wing effect with this look Spellbound by Kiss My Sass is sort of a purple with a lot more shimmer than negligee. So we're going to take this color, we're going to blend it onto the eyelid. And I pretty much use champagne to set the primer and to make everything easier to blend. And also as the basic, you know, base tone all over lid color to minimize any veining or redness. Take chocolate truffle, which is a brown with like a golden bronze in it. Very beautiful. I'm going to take this in the outer corner. And also because there's so much black and hardware on everything in stores, I think this will be like a good kind of eye to go with it without being too black or too dark. So I'm just going to take that up a little underneath negligee. I want negligee to be peeking out from under chocolate truffle. Take uh, Kiss My Sass uh, Ice Queen and this is just a really pretty simple white with like silver shimmer in it. I'm gonna put this at the peak of the brow bone. Clean off my brush because I don't want to pick up any more white. It's gonna be way too frosty for my skin tone once the foundation's on. I'm just gonna take the little bit and blend it out. 
take the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil. I'm going to place this in the inner tear duct because I have really no primer there and I want the inner corner highlight to stick better. And now I'm going to take a little bit more Ice Queen just to lighten up the look a little bit so it doesn't look too harsh. I noticed I don't like as in um, dark eye looks with neutral colors now that my hair is this color. It just looks kind of out of place majority of the color right at the tear duct and blend it up just so it looks continuous not like I just stopped I hate that look where you have just like a blob in the inner tear duct and it's not really worked out or blended out. Now I'm going to take the Tarte Multiply Eye and place this on the upper lash line. I'm going to draw an outline for the eyeliner. The Zuzu Luxe eyeliner. I'm really going to smoke out the bottom lash line and waterline. And this color is in Obsidian. I'm kind of just going for um, a very smoky eye with the dark colors but with the wing a lot more defined. I'm going to take Tattoo Shop, which is a really cool purple. It's like a really intense sparkly purple. I think this is going to be very cool for the lower lash line to sort of bring out some of the purple undertones and the browns I used. I'm going to take the 781 brush from Dime Tools. Begin packing this in the outer corner. I hope you could see that color. It's like purple, blue, pink, glitter. Definitely think you can, I hope. <laughs> Go to Vegas in February. This color is coming with me. It's really, it's really cool. I'm now going to take Vegas and it is gold. Very cool. I'm really excited about this one too. It's like a true gold, like, like a statue gold. Cool. I'm actually going to put on the same brush so it blends in easier to tattoo shop, I hope. This is the first time I'm, I'm like doing a first impression look on camera. get the chance to work with everything and kind of like tell you guys how it's going. And then I'm going to take Chocolate Truffle and I really want to accentuate this sort of harder outer wing I'm going for. So I'm going to take Chocolate Truffle, my cleaned off 781. I just cleaned out Tattoo Shop in Vegas from the pencil brush and I'm just going to sort of accentuate that harder edge and then just sort of rotate around the edge of the line just to give it a slightly cleaner look and that way kind of gives you that sort of hard wing effect without looking like you didn't blend it out. Mr. Wink's Natural Soft Lashes. These are 100% human hair lashes, hypoallergenic, easy application. Human hair lashes are still vegan because they're not extracted from an animal. This is like donated hair. Um, this size is number 103 and they're kind of like really cool because they're kind of like hairy and fluffy on the bottom. If you can't get these at a pro store near you, anyone can get them at JeromeRussell.com. Bronzing and contouring the face. I'm gonna, ugh, I almost dropped it. My Too Faced palette, I'm gonna take Chocolate Soleil. For those of you wondering, because I don't mention a lot, this is the Too Faced Bronzed and the Beautiful palette. They still sell this, I've seen it in stores, so. Um, but I don't always tell you the palette because I pretty much only take these two, this one, I don't take a lot because they don't sell it individually. They do sell Sun Bunny individually, so all these you can get separately. I rarely mention its palette because I don't ever take all of them, and you can get them all individually. It's basically just a gigantic sampler of bronzer. I love it when they do these bronzer palettes because uh, you can try all their, all their bronzers. I think they should do more bronzer palettes because they're coming out with some new stuff lately. So I'm just going to go ahead and bronze. Like whatever their newest bronzer is, they should do that with like the tanning bed and a tube, like a small sample. That'd be cool. Um, Kiss My Sass Cosmetics Highlighter in Glisten. And this is a really pretty peachy color. Hope you can see that. And once we add some color to the face, it'll all come together. I do like to take the highlighter down quite a bit, so my... Um, blusher stays on longer and doesn't look so ashy. I find that way I can use a lot more different blushes that work with my skin tone better. Um, 
Kiss My Sass Cosmetics Sunday Morning Blush, and it's a light peach. I used to love light peach uh, blushes. One of my first videos was actually um, a review on NARS Sex Appeal before I found out it wasn't cruelty free. Or I think they sold to Shiseido in the last year or so, so maybe it was cruelty free when I reviewed it. But it reminds me of that light peach that I loved. I also had, um, from a Tartan Tail, I had, with the MAC collection, I had a light peach from there as well that I really loved. So I, I haven't had a, like a light apricot color in a while. So this is Sunday morning. Kind of like a ooh la la sex glow is what they're going for, I'm guessing. I'm guessing they're not going for like a church blush, but you could wear it to church, it's light. Take Inglot Soft Precision Lip Liner. Lips are so fun because you could finally really see how your look is gonna look. Compared to the eyes, I really don't think there's any color on the bottom half of the face. So I'm actually going to take a lip gloss. To finish off the look, I took Kiss My Sass Cosmetics. This is a lip glaze. It's extremely pigmented for gloss because you can see it changed the whole look. With my facial proportions, my jawline being, um, I guess, wider or my cheekbones being wider and then having big eyes, I feel I need to create some balance or symmetry for the look. Since the blush isn't very intense, I wanted to do something on the bottom to balance the face. So I took Summer Lovin' Lip Glaze by Kiss My Sass, which is a very hot pink lip gloss. Very rich, very pigmented. You could put it on bare lips and it'd be beautiful and it has like a gold shimmer. So I hope that you enjoyed this look. I had a lot of fun putting it together for you and trying out these new indie cosmetics. And it's a safe indie brand that um, you can try out. I know that she had worked with um, Glamour Doll Eyes. So I hope you enjoyed this and thank you for watching.